WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network. Uh, market update, Basil Chapman here, Dow's up 600 at 30,480. We're looking at a really strong move to the upside, just an extremely oversold condition based on the Friday technicals. Uh, we were looking at a little doji candle with on balance volume giving a really strong chance of a reversal early this week, and we've already got it. How can it hold? Can it even get to 30,847? Uh, which is the pink nine period exponential moving average. That's another 400 points higher than this. We'll see. The week has just begun. We're uh, one, eight, three, an hour and a half into the trading day. So anything can happen even by uh, mid session. What we are looking at here is that the VIX index, and I never mentioned this in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, a few moments ago. I meant to, I meant, I spoke about it Friday, but I forgot to mention it today that the VIX is at 29.99. If the VIX this week, goes to the 27s, that is going to really help the market sustain a move to the upside for the first time. So we're looking at the S&P. So the Dow is up 1.98%. Uh, the S&P is up 2.7%. 500 stocks are much stronger than the 30, 37.74, up 99. I love this action. But the pink 38.14, uh, that's the nine period exponential moving average, which is above the 3810 May low before that arch formation take out to the bottom. Um, this is going to be important. Can it even touch it? Is it even possible this week to break above the, I think it was Wednesday, the high was uh, on the 15th, was at 3837? Is that even a possibility? Or are we going to have another big turnaround over the next few days? So far, the technicals with that doji candle on Friday and the move to the upside today. That's really helping the technicals. QQQ, NDX 100, up 283, at 283, up 3%, up 836 And that's nice. It's touching the nine-period moving average. The next level is 288, the 14-period moving average. That'll take it above, I think it was Thursday or Wednesday's high. We're looking at the IWM. Also acting quite well here, but not as good a chart pattern as the others. Um, it's up 470 at 169. Gold. Gold is uh, unchanged, basically up uh, two at 1842, just kind of stuck. The dollar, meanwhile, is holding quite nicely. It's down 19 at ticks at 104.29. It's really the TLT, the bonds, that just keep going down. They can't hold gains, so the yields keep going up. And that's a, a, a big thing to watch. And the crude oil is up 245. I will be sitting in for the hour. Larry Pizzavento is on the show. So I'll be doing the show for an hour. I'll cover a lot of the commodities and the currency. I'll be back in a couple of Stay and check out the opening call.